Hello YouTube, this is Chesco for Slam APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to do the second part, uh, the Python part. In the last tutorial, we did the C++. We identified pixels with given uh, color values, and, and we, we were able to give a binary in black and white. We're going to do the same thing, uh, but using Python. Okay, so these are the same files that we used in the last tutorials you can see, but we're going to be working with the Python, which is this one right here, and we're going to be using the same image, so you can compare between the two. Okay, so let's just get started. This nano color detection pi, and this is it. This, this, these lines of code, uh, it they do uh, basically the same uh, that that the C++ code does. And what I'm doing here is I'm importing computer vision 2 here. I'm importing NumPy or NP. I'm in, in decoding the image, same image that we used last time. I'm using these two, the VGR to HSV conversion using CB2 to CB2 color. We used this about two, three uh, tutorials ago. Uh, I'm using the image, is this image right here, and then I'm using the color BGR to uh, HSV. Remember, HSV is the hue, saturation, and value. And uh, I'm using uh, a, the the range, so I need to give them a range. So I need to find out what the, the range values, the HSV values for the color that you that you're going to be using as an input parameter. Therefore, you can go uh, and f you can do it on 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 the terminal by using Image Magic or using uh, GIMP or using any uh, a few other programs out there, or you can use that uh, this um, here that that we used before. Um, here you can more or less the green as you can see here if we do a uh, blue which will be let's do green we're doing green first green this is going to give you a hue of, uh, of about 60 and then 100 and 100 okay more or less is, is, is 60 and so that's why I, I what I did here was uh, instead of using Wait, this is about 65, yeah. Uh, instead of using 65 or 60, just to make it even, uh, make it 60, um, what I did was I went down, If 60 is the starting value, so to make it a lower uh, value, I went uh, minus 10, which is 50, and then the higher value, to give the range, I went to 70. But as you can, as you will see, it is not uh, the the um, the best value to 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 use, and I'll show you why I say that. Color detection pi. And as you can see, is um, is not is missing a lot of the pixels because it's not a strong green, it's almost like a, a light green. And as you can see, um, I mean, it's getting it, but uh, but it's missing a lot, okay? So what we, we can do to, to avoid that is just make it more sensitive, uh, make it more sensitive to the lighter green. And the way to do that is instead of uh, using 60 as the green, I'm gonna go higher. So instead of, I'm gonna go to 70 uh, for the low, and I'm gonna go to 90 for the high. Okay, so it's a, a wider range uh, to make it uh, a lot more sensitive. And then Control X, yes, and now let's run it. And as you can see, it picks it up a lot better. Okay. Uh, the uh, the white is in the binary image. The white represents the value that you you're you're trying to identify, and everything else is is just uh, zero. It's black. Okay. And we can also change the the. Of course, we can change the colors. We use green. So now let's do let's do blue now. And 
by doing blue so we saw here let's do let's find a blue no blue is like right here so it's 240 so here is about 115 120 let's go to 120 um, Let's go to 120 minus 10 down, so it's 110. And going up 120 will go to up by 10, so it's 130. Okay, and save it. Yes. And Python. And let's see what it does. And as you can see, it's picking up pretty good. The, the blue, blue here, blue there, blue there, blue there, blue there, and that one is right there. Okay, so it does a pretty good job. And it's very condensed, not very many lines of code, very efficient. Okay, and uh, I, I'm going to include this in, the, in my website and you can uh, go there if you want to use uh, you know, this code or the C++ code for uh, some of your projects. This is the end of the tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.